My god, what is Untamed's strength and why am I not a member? Mm, that voice is so soothing. Ooh, that beard. Man, I wish I had a sweet beard. Daddy, why don't you train Untamed? Alright you guys, so I've noticed that a lot of people are confused or even clueless on what sets and rep ranges to use when they train. They don't know the difference between five sets of five, six sets of three, five sets of ten. Uh, they just know or they just think that if five sets of ten is good, five sets of fifteen is even better. And that all depends on what you're trying to achieve in the gym. So in order to figure out why we use certain set and rep ranges, we need to define two terms. First one is volume. The second one is intensity. Volume is simply the amount of reps that are being done. If you did 5 sets of 10, that's 50 total reps. 5 sets of 5 is only 25 total reps. So 5 sets of 10 is higher volume than 5 sets of 5. When we talk about volume, we're talking about stimulating the muscular system. So this is more of a bodybuilding type uh, term. Uh, we are inducing muscle hypertrophy, so you're trying to increase muscle size, and it's really just going for the pump. That's what volume is. Now intensity is, could be two things. The amount of weight being used, and the speed at which you're moving the weight. So, if we look down here, if you were doing five sets of 10 with 60% of your max, that would be 60 pounds of a 100 pound max. Or 5 sets of 5 with 85% or 85 pounds of your 100 pound max. 5 sets of 5 would be higher intensity because you're using more weight. Now, with reference to speed training, if you were to do 10 jumps on a 20 inch box, that intensity would be much lower than if you're doing only 3 jumps on a 50 inch box because you're jumping that much higher. So, this term is talking about stimulating the nervous system, lifting heavy weight or moving it as fast as One thing that you have to realize is that as volume increases, intensity will decrease. And as intensity increases, volume will decrease. Here's an example. If we had a high volume workout of 100 body weight squats, the intensity is going to drop. A body weight squat is not very difficult to do, but it's going to hurt because you're doing 100 of them. So the volume is high, the intensity is low. On the other side of that, if you were to do one 315 pound clean, that was your max. You're only doing one, so the volume is extremely low, can't get any lower than that. But the intensity in which you need to do 315 pound clean is extremely high. So volume is at one, intensity is at 10. Back here, volume is at 10, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, intensity is around 1. Now that you are thoroughly confused, let me give you some examples of proper set and rep ranges for whatever goal you have. So, if all you care about is hypertrophy or muscle growth, going for the pump, your volume, let's see here, colors match up, the volume is going to be way up here. Your intensity is going to be down here. Don't get that confused with intensity is how hard you go in the gym. I'm just talking about how much weight you're using. If you're doing sets of 15, you will not be using very much weight with relation to your one rep max. Now, if you want to increase speed or strength, and what I mean by strength, I'm talking about one rep max, so maximum strength, your volume needs to be somewhere down here, but the intensity that you need to move that weight or to be explosive is way up here. My favorite set rep ranges to train with is five sets of five because it's a perfect blend of volume and intensity. If you hear five sets of five and you think that's pretty easy, you're not using enough weight. Lucky for you, I have created the greatest program that has ever been created in the history of program creation. It doesn't have a name because it doesn't need one. But, let me show you. 
the way that any good program is set up and the way that we train here at Untamed Strength, we do, we start with an explosive movement, follow that with a main movement, squat, bench press, deadlift, or overhead press. Then we do some assistant stuff. And the assistant stuff is to work the muscles that are involved in the main lift. So, I've got a three day a week program. That's it folks, just three days and you can get strong. Day one is our squat day. The explosive movement is gonna be box jumps. You do four sets of two. This is low volume, but high intensity. Our main lift is gonna be squats, five sets of five. This is moderate volume, moderate intensity. The assistance is gonna be lunges, four sets of 10. Superset that with stiff leg deadlifts, four sets of 10. This is high volume, low intensity. High volume, low intensity. So we get a blend of everything. Low high, moderate moderate, high low. The next day is going to be our push day. You're gonna do bench press. Our explosive movement, clapping push-ups. Three sets of three. Low volume, high intensity. Our main movement is the bench press, five sets of five. Again, moderate volume, moderate intensity. Assistance is gonna be barbell overhead press, four sets of 10, and pull-ups, four sets of 10. High volume, low intensity. Again, low high, moderate, moderate, high low. The last thing we're gonna do is our pull day, deadlifts. Most people say, do I you do legs twice a week? Yes, but deadlift is the best back exercise known to man. So it is a squat day, push day, or chest day, pull day, back day. So anyways, we start with bounds. That's just jumping as far as you can. Forward. Six sets of one, this is low volume, high intensity. Deadlifts, five sets of five, moderate volume, moderate intensity. Front squats, four sets of 10, and barbell rows, four sets of 10. High volume, low intensity. So there you go, best program ever created. Follow it, you will get stronger, and you will be awesome. But the most important thing to remember when planning your sets and rep ranges is the drag.